Welcome to Empowerment Technologies. Our topic in this video is the online platform for ICT content development. Lesson Objectives Differentiate the platforms available for developing web content. Understand the purpose of these platforms and know the basic of using them. And enhance one's knowledge in the world of cloud computing. First, let us understand what is online platform. These are the technologies that are grouped to be used as a base upon which other application process or technologies are developed. The purpose of the online platforms are able to create a good online presentation, create the content, and share content. And last, we can store and access file data online. It is also an online marketplace that places one party in touch with other, such as buyers and sellers. Here are the examples of online platform. Number one is presentation or visualization. Number two, cloud computing. Number three, social media. Number four, web page creation. Number five, file management. And number six, mapping. The first example of online platform is the presentation or visualization. These are the online platforms that communicate information clearly and efficiently via statistical graphics, plots, and information graphics. Examples are, number one is the Prezi. Prezi helping to reinvent the art of presentation. Number two is the Zoho. This is an online project management application that helps you plan your work and keep track of your progress. Number three is the slide share. This is to build quickly from concise, well-presented content from top experts. And last is the Mind Mister. This is an online mind mapping tool that lets you capture, develop, and share ideas visually. Next is the Cloud Computing. These are the practice of using a network remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data, rather than a local server or personal computer. Here are the examples of cloud computing. Number one is the Google Drive. It is best to keep all work in one secure place with online file storage. Number two is the Dropbox. Dropbox, it is best to keep your file safe sync, and easy to share. Social Media These are the computer-mediated tools that allows people, companies, and other organizations to create, share, or exchange information, career interest, ideas, and pictures or videos in communities and networks. Examples of the social media are number one is the Twitter. Twitter is an online social networking service that enables users to send and read short 140-character messages called tweets. Number two is the Facebook. Facebook is for-profit corporation and online social networking service. And last, the number three is the Tumblr. It is a microblogging platform and social networking website. Web page creation. This online platform encompasses a number of important elements including color, layout, and overall graphical appearance. Examples are, number one is the Wix. This Wix, it is a cloud-based web development platform that allows users to create HTML5 websites and mobile sites through the use of their online drag-and-drop tools. Number two is the Weebly. This Weebly is a web hosting service featuring a drag-and-drop website builder. Next is the file management. File management, this online platform, it is best for storing, naming, sorting, and handling computer files. Examples are Zamzar. These are the web applications to convert files. Next example is the word to PDF. This file management converts Word files to portable document format with this online tool. The last online platform is the mapping. This online platform is a transformation taking the points of one space into points of the same or another space. Examples are, number one is the Google Maps. 
This is a desktop web mapping service developed by Google. Next one is the Wikimapia. This is a multilingual open content collaborative map where anyone can create plays, tags, and share their knowledge. Content Management System or CMS This is a computer application or sometimes online or browser-based. It allows you to publish, edit and manipulate, organize and delete web content. CMS is used in blogs, news, website, and shopping. Examples are blogs. This is a discussion or informational website published on the web consisting of discrete, often informal diary style text entries or what we call posts. Posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order so that the most recent post appears first at the top of the web page. Here are the examples of blogging sites. Number one is the WordPress or WordPress.com. Number two is the Blogger or Blogger.com or Blogspot.com. Number three is the Blog.com. Number four is the Medium.com. And the last is the Squarespace.com. Next is the web design principles and elements. Web design is a concept of planning, creating, updating, and maintaining the website. If we are going to create our own website, a good web design allows the user to understand the message, content, and ideas in most convenient way. When creating a website, we must know and consider the web design elements. Number one is the text. This is the font family and type must be chosen well, clear, and in readable size. Number two is the graphics or illustration. Graphics or illustration must be a good quality and well arranged with text and other elements. We can use here the infographics or the information graphics. Number three is the shapes. Shapes can be used to denote an enclosed boundary in overall design. Number four is the background. This background can help to provide your website with feeling of a surface underneath. It must be used to bring out the content given on a website to make it look more appealing. Number five is the color. Color must blend well and complement the elements on the page. We can use variant and bold colors that will attract but not too distracting. Number six is the video and audio. It helps the viewer to easily understand what are teaching or selling. And last, the number seven is the links. These links allow user to connect to another page or site that relates on the content of your page. Here are the web design principles when creating a website. Number one is the portable design. It must be portable and accessible by user who have different browser, operating system, and computer platform. Number two is the design for low bandwidth. It must be accessible at variety of speed. In design for low bandwidth, we can avoid here the large graphics or animation as the user may leave the site if downloading is very slow. Number three is the direction. It identifies the order of importance of the various elements and place them in a sequence where the eye moves and perceive the things it sees. Number four is the accessible. Visitors must be able to easily access the information and the text must be legible or readable. Also, the colors must be creative in a visual harmony and balance. Number five is the white spaces. It is used so deliberately in your design as a breathing space. It may also be used to show the vision of content. Number six is the convenience. It allows visitor to make an action. Click button should be conveniently located and accessible. Number seven is the regular testing. In creating a website should be regularly upgraded, updated, and tested so that problem will quickly resolve. And last one, number eight, is the simplify. It removes distracting options and clutter. Website template. This website template is a pre-designed web page simply by adding your text and customization to create your desired web page. 
It is usually built with hypertext markup language and CSS code. We can use here the YCWIG editor that allows us to create and design a web page without any coding knowledge. The acronym for YCWIG is what you see is what you get. This means that whatever you type, insert, draw, place, rearrange, and everything you do on a page is what the audience will see and it shows and imprints whatever you type on the screen. Finally, is the search engine optimization. SEO is a feature that maximizes the search engine optimization feature so visitors can easily locate your website. Also, SEO helps to ensure that a site is accessible to search engine, and it improves the chances that the site will be found by the search engines. Also, SEO helps to ensure that a site is accessible to a search engine. This search engine optimization is usually used in businesses. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned a lot in online platforms for ICT content development. See you to our next lesson. Next topic is